you ever wondered about the history of the reigning royal house of the United Kingdom, the House of Windsor? Born from the historic Windsor Castle estate, this royal house carries a lineage that has shaped the course of history. From King George V's establishment in the early 20th century to the rule of present-day monarchs, the House of Windsor's legacy is a tale of power, transitions, and enduring tradition. So, buckle up as we dive into the history and understand the legacy of the House of Windsor. The roots of the House of Windsor go back to 17th July 1917. This was when King George V, in the midst of the First World War, decided to rebrand the royal family. He discarded the German-sounding House of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha, which was tainted by anti-German sentiment. The new name, Windsor, was inspired by the eponymous castle, a symbol of timeless strength and continuity in British history. That marked the beginning of the House of Windsor. Since its inception, there have been five British monarchs from the House of Windsor. Let's take a quick journey through time to meet them. First, there was King George V, the founder of the house who reigned from 1910 to 1936. He was succeeded by his son, Edward VIII. However, Edward's reign was brief, he abdicated the throne in less than a year to marry the woman he loved. Then came George VI, who led the country through the tumultuous times of the Second World War. He was succeeded by his daughter, Elizabeth II, who has the longest reign in British history. She passed away in 2022. Finally, we have Charles III, the current king. These monarchs have led the House of Windsor through various eras. The descendants of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip also belong to the House of Oldenburg. The lineage extends back to the House of Glücksburg, a branch of the House of Oldenburg to which Prince Philip was born into. This connection weaves an intricate tapestry of royal heritage that is as diverse as it is long-standing. The family tree of the House of Windsor is a testament to the power of lineage, with each generation carrying forward the legacy of their ancestors. From Queen Elizabeth II to Prince Charles, current king, and his sons, Princes William and Harry, the lineage is a rich blend of tradition and modernity. The House of Windsor's lineage is not just confined to the United Kingdom. Through marriages and alliances, it extends across Europe, linking the British royal family with other royal and noble families. The lineage of the House of Windsor is indeed fascinating. The monarch of the House of Windsor is the head of state of 15 sovereign states. The United Kingdom, of course, is the primary realm, but the reach of the Windsors extends far beyond its borders. The realms include Antigua and Barbuda, Australia, the Bahamas, and Belize, countries that, although independent, recognize the British monarch as their own. Further afield, we find Canada, Grenada, and Jamaica, nations that share a deep historical connection with Britain. The list continues with New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, countries that, while geographically distant, maintain their ties with the House of Windsor. And finally, we have the Solomon Islands and Tuvalu, the smallest of the realms but nonetheless integral parts of this historic monarchy. The House of Windsor holds significant influence across these nations. The House of Windsor succeeded the House of Hanover on the death of its last monarch, Queen Victoria. Actually, the transition didn't happen in one fell swoop. The next in line, King Edward VII, brought with him a new house name, Saxe-Coburg and Gotha, thanks to his father, Prince Albert's German lineage. So, for a little over a decade, the British monarchy was under a German name, but that didn't sit well with everyone. The First World War was a tumultuous time, and the British found themselves at odds with Germany. Anti-German sentiment was high, and having a monarchy with a German name didn't exactly help national morale. King George V, who succeeded Edward VII, decided it was time for a change. He wanted a name that reflected their British roots, something that would resonate with the people during these trying times. And so, after much deliberation, the name Windsor was chosen, inspired by the historic Windsor Castle. On July 17, 1917, the Royal Proclamation was made, and the House of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha became the House of Windsor. This wasn't just a name change, it was a move that showed solidarity with the people, a statement of identity, of standing together against a common enemy. The name Windsor has been continued ever since, 
a testament to the enduring strength and unity of the British monarchy and the people it represents. We've traversed through the history of the House of Windsor. A lineage born out of necessity during a time of global strife, it has since grown into a symbol of continuity and stability for the United Kingdom and 15 other sovereign nations across the globe. From the reign of King George V, who marked the beginning of this royal house, to the current reign of Charles III, we've seen how each monarch has left their unique imprint on the tapestry of British history. We've explored the lineage of this royal house, tracing its roots back to the House of Oldenburg, and how anti-German sentiment during the First World War led to the transition from the House of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha to the House of Windsor. And finally, we've learned about the realm of the House of Windsor, a realm that extends far beyond the shores of the United Kingdom, reaching as far as Australia, the Caribbean islands, and the Pacific Ocean. In essence, the House of Windsor is not just a royal house. It's a testament to the power of adaptation, an enduring symbol of a nation's identity, and a living piece of history that continues to evolve. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more such informative videos. Until next time, goodbye and take care.